Hello, and thank you so much for being here. My name is Jessica. I love fashion. I enjoy getting into my closet and creating different outfit ideas and sharing them here with you all. So this has been a great way for me to be more creative with the items that I have. And it's super fun being able to share new items as I acquire new things here and there as well. So if that sounds good to you, please stay tuned and let's go ahead and get into today's video. The majority of the content that I share here is geared towards business casual dress. I work in an office where we are required to dress up every day, which I enjoy. I absolutely love getting dressed up. It just makes me feel like I can conquer the day. So today I wanted to share with you my favorite matching suit sets and how I style those. They are absolute workhorses in my wardrobe. They're so versatile. You can wear them together as a set the way I'm going to show you today, or you can also split them up and mix and match, which is a great way to stretch your wardrobe and get the most out of the items that we already have. So let's go ahead and get into the business suits that I want to share with you today. I wanted to make a quick mention about my hair today. So I tried a new, I saw this on Pinterest and Instagram where you do the no heat curls and I just had to try it to see if it worked. I've seen it done with socks and I also saw one last night where they used the tie of a robe. So just a really fluffy robe and you take the waist tie off of it and you put it around your head and then twist your hair around it and sleep with it like that. And holy bananas, does it work. I have a little bit of tweaking that I'd like to do. I'm not sure how to get the, I mean the bottom is just kinky, tight, super tight curls, but I didn't think I tied it that tight. But anyway, for those of you that are wondering if that works, it definitely works and I need to tweak it a little bit and figure out how I can make the curls a little bit looser. I even combed through them. I thought, well, maybe if I brush through them a little bit, that will loosen them up, but they're still pretty darn tight. So anyway, I thought it was fun. I wanted to share it with you that if you've been curious and want to try it, it does work. I didn't sleep super great uh, with that in my hair, just the way that I had it in there and tossing and it just was really long and I need to make a few tweaks but we're definitely working on that and I'm gonna try it again because I'm super happy with being able to get curls in my hair and not have to damage it with heat so that's always a bonus for you ladies with longer hair just wanted to share that little tip with you it does work give it a try my first matching suit set that I wanted to share with you today is this pretty pinkish purpley suit from Worthington is the brand. I picked this up at JCPenney. I got it on clearance a year or so ago and the blazer is an extra small. The pants are a size eight. They're just a straight leg and I really like the way this suit fits. You can, it has the tie back detail in the back. So I prefer to leave it this way because I just wear, wear the suit open and I like the way that that looks, but for a more tailored fitted look, if you want to accentuate your waist, you can definitely button it up and then tie that tie around the front and that looks really nice. This definitely goes along with the dopamine dressing trend. So I love this pop of color and then to contrast, I wanted to put this really pretty green bodysuit. This is from uh, Rue 21 and it's an extra large and I just prefer to get my bodysuits large or extra large most of the time so that they're not so, so tight. So this one I did size up. It's not quite as tight as my other ones. And then I wanted to finish the look off with these really pretty cream Western style booties. I got these from Ross uh, about six months or so ago. And the Western booties and Western boots are just really hot right now as well and I really like the cream colors so I thought they would be a great pairing with this suit. Mm -hmm. 
and you've got to love a good plaid matching suit set for the fall, right? So I picked this one up at Rue, I believe a couple years ago, and this is at Rue 21. It's a size medium in the blazer, and the bottoms are a large. They are skinny. They're a skinny pant with the zipper. They zip up the front, and I just think that's a little fun detail. And then they do have the more tapered leg, and so I really like this suit. It's pretty lightweight, so it's a great pick for right now. It's not super heavy, and I will pair this with my sleeveless high neck from Worthington. This is like a sweaterish type fabric, and I picked this up at J.C. Penney, and I've had this for a couple of years, and this is just a really great piece to have in the fall time, and it looks really nice with this plaid print. It has the pretty caramely color with black and white, so a uh, pretty classic color combination. And then I do have some open toe shoes out and about still, even though it's fall, it's still nice enough that I am going to pair this look with these open toe heels, these wedges, and these are from, I believe, Payless from many years ago, and they're a size six, super comfortable. And then I will also pair for a bag, I'll put my camel caramel colored circle bag that I got from Sheen. So this will finish off my look with this suit set. majority of the suits I'm going to be showing for the rest of the video are all pretty neutral. This is my gray. It's a gray and black print, but it's really subtle. This is a heavier suit, so I usually don't break this one out until it starts getting cold. And this is from Free Assembly from Walmart. It's a medium in the suit and the pants are also a medium. They're just a straight leg and I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna keep it. I just picked it up on clearance last winter, but I feel like the pants are a little bit short and I usually like to wear a little bit of a heel. So I'm gonna see how it looks today and I might be decluttering the pants. I'll definitely keep the jacket because I really love the suit coat, but we'll see how the pants end up looking. And I'm gonna put it with my old navy plain gray v-neck bodysuit, size medium. I do feel like I usually wear a small in Old Navy sizing and tops and dresses. So sizing up to a medium is sizing up for me in this particular brand. And I just think this is gonna be a really nice look. I'm gonna finish it off with my gray chunky sole open toe booties. I have had these forever. They zip up the side and they do have that little peep toe. They have the little wrap around detail. They're so fun. They have been in my wardrobe for so long. I, I can't even remember. I've had these for so many years. They are from a website called Urban OG, which I used to shop regularly, but it's just not as good as it used to be. So I haven't gotten anything from them in quite a long time. And believe it or not, they, those are pretty comfortable with the heel height. So they are pretty high though, so we'll see how they look with my pants that I feel like might be a little too short. We shall see. And then I wanted to finish it off with a pop of color since it's such a neutral look. And I think that accessories, I just picked this neon handbag up from Sheen. I think accessories are a great way. I know some people really like to splurge on shoes and bags. That's not me. I've never spent a ton of money on either of those things. So this is just a cute little uh, pop of color that you can update your wardrobe and not break the bank. So I think this is gonna make this look really pop. So 
if you have watched my channel before, you've seen this bad boy. I just featured this one in my capsule wardrobe video. I picked this up in the summer. This is a cream pinstripe double-breasted suit from, I picked it up at JCPenney and it's the Worthington brand. The suit is a medium, pants are a size eight, and they are just a, a wide leg with the pleats. I absolutely love this suit, and I'm gonna pair it with just a cream tank top, time and true from Walmart, size 810. And to finish this one off, I definitely wanna put it with my cream Chunky Hill loafers, which were also in my fall capsule video and also my new items for fall. So these are going to be a great everyday shoe that I can wear on days when I know it's going to be super busy. I don't want to fuss with heels. So I am going to put these with this look. And then I wanted to finish it off with this gorgeous um, Nine West bag. This is probably one of the most expensive bags I have if that tells you anything because I don't think Nine West bags are that expensive. I think I got this at TJ Maxx for like 30 bucks or $27, but doesn't it just look really nice and expensive? I absolutely love the way that this, this just makes me feel like I have it together. When I have this suit on with this bag, it's just, I'm just living my best. So this suit set is definitely on the dressier side and probably one of my most worn as well. This is just a black silky double breasted uh, suit coat from Forever 21. This is a medium and I also have these silky high waisted tapered leg pants and they're from Forever 21 size large. And I just think it has this cute little, it came with this little silver buckle and belt. So I really love the detail on that. So this is definitely something I would wear if I was going on an interview or had a, a date night or just something's a little extra special. I'm going to pair it with my white bodysuit. It's a tank bodysuit from Marisa's size medium. Again, the bodysuits are just so easy when you have a set like this and you're not sure what to put with it because they're fitted and then you have the blazer over the top. So I don't think there's too much tight going on. And I think they're just a good balance to put with a blazer. And then to finish this look off, like I said, it's still not super cold here yet. So I still have my open toe shoes out and these are my zebra heels from Sheen. I got these several months ago back in the spring, I believe. And these are really comfortable, great heel height. And so they will add a little great bit of interest to the look. And then I'm gonna finish it off with my puffy Donna Karen New York bag. I've had this guy for quite a while and I just, I love a good big bag. I have gravitated towards smaller bags for the last little while, but big bags are nice to have once in a while too when you just need to carry your computer or have a bunch of other things, you're packing a lunch, whatever, you can fit everything but the kitchen sink in that bag. This is my caramel colored suit. This is a Worthington suit that I picked up from JCPenney. I've had this suit for quite a long time. The 
blazer is a size large, so it does fit a little bit oversized. And then the pants are just a straight leg dress pant and they are a size eight. I don't know if you've noticed the, the trend here, but I love Worthington suits. I love the way they fit. I think the quality is great. They have stood the test of time in my wardrobe. And I think they're a very affordable brand that I have access to. We don't have a lot of places here to shop where I live, but we do have a JCPenney. So I find that I can usually score things like this on clearance and get a very, very good deal on items like this. So this is a neutral oldie but goodie in my wardrobe. I'm going to pair it with my snake skin high neck bodysuit from Amazon. This is a size large and I've had this for quite a while too and I wear this very often in the fall. It's very lightweight. It is long sleeve, but it's it's super lightweight, so I don't get too hot when I have it on. And then if I do get a little bit warm, I feel comfortable enough that I can always shed my suit coat. I don't need to have that on. So anyway, I am putting that with my caramel colored booties. These are from Sheen. I've had these for a year or two, size six. And I great heel height, again, sucker for the pointed toe. They just look really, really great with this suit. And then I want to finish it with my puffy quilted bag that I have from Amazon. I've had this for quite a while and this is a great staple. This is pretty much the perfect size for me. I really, really think that the size on this bag is just perfect for what I need and what I want to carry. It'll fit my wallet, my little planner, my phone, a lipstick, and I'm good to go. It's not super heavy. And it does also have the long strap so you can carry it over your shoulder as well if you'd like to. That's what I have for you today. I am excited to be able to share my suits with you. I do have some others, but these are my most favorite and most worn that I pull out in the fall and winter months. So I hope that you liked the looks that I put together. I would love to hear what your favorite suits are and where you've picked those up. I'm always on the lookout for a great suit. I think matching sets, they just make you feel like you have it all together. At least they do for me. Whenever I put on a matching suit set, I just feel like a boss. So I hope that you feel the same way. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like below. It really helps my channel and we will see you again next time. Thanks again for being here. Have a great day.